Maya's pretty lucky for a 135er. Yes. And fighting out of your Team Reaper red corner from Chick Madalympus fighting in the blue belt, Danny Maya! And it seems like we may have a bit of a crowd favorite here. As I was saying before, Danny Amaya actually impressed last time at Combat Quest Jitsu 4 which is the reason he's back here again today. But we were mentioning he actually made the pilgrimage back to the home gym of Checkmat. And I was able to train with some of the original founders. Oh, Jump. wow. Jumping straight for guard. Right. I mean, Amaya coming out kind of with the element of surprise out the gate. You know, I think he noticed that his opponent was standing in that wrestling stance. And again, the whole objective of this is a submission. The submission isn't happening on its feet, right? Where it's right. going to happen is on the ground. So why give him the chance to take you down and end up in a good position on top when you can just pull guard if that's where you're comfortable, right? That's the thing about this avenue when it's BJJ only, when there's no strikes, when it's not CJJ, it's not MMA. You can hang out on bottom. You can right. look for those submissions. It's a little different when we go into full-blown combat. Obviously, you don't want to be on bottom get beat up from elbows, punches, more slaps in the case of CJJ. And I've I done was, that, I I've done that say, myself. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> Can't be a pleasant feeling. Thankfully, I really didn't get hit <laughs> too much. <laughs> I think I'd rather be punched than slapped, I got to tell you. Yeah, fair enough. Mm. Amaya not looking very phased right now. He seems very calm. You know, this is where he wants to be, right? He, he wants to be here on, in the, on the back play the guard good hand fighting from both but really no guard passing attempts right coming from spiny and that's what we're going to have to see and i think ultimately he's just looking to counter a submission attempt to pass that's what it looks like sometimes when you're forcing a hard pass you get caught Sitting back on the ankle. Remember, all submissions are legal here, so we, we could see knee reaping. Going for that heel hook. And Amaya's doing a good job keeping his weight heavy on the foot, and that's important. When someone is playing that leg game on you, you got to keep your weight down on that foot. When you turn away is when you start to make that leg light, and that's when they can secure that foot and get under your ankle. Oh, and Amaya sitting here in a triangle position. Lacing those legs up quickly. Very quickly. And again, he's the longer grappler here. Right. Using those long le longer legs to his advantage. Back to the, back to the ankle. I with the flexibility. This is a dangerous position to be in for your knee, though. Working the deep half position. This is one of uh, Josh's <laughs> favorite sweeps, actually. So you can tell he's definitely learning directly from his professor. Excellent control from inside the X guard position. And we got Amaya on the back. Wow, I mean, beautiful Excellent back to Very, very slick. Plenty of time, too. Two and a half minutes on the clock to secure something. Nice lock there on the body triangle. Let's see if he's able to. Cupping the face right complete now. Complete this. Good body triangle. And there's the finish. Wow. A great job from Danny Amaya. Beautiful sweep to the back. Had a really great lock on the body triangle. Was fighting a little bit to get under the chin, but stuck with it, earned it, and came away victorious.
It is neck and neck between these two gyms. We're looking at three and three. Absolutely. It is still anybody's night. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner at three minutes and 49 seconds by Rear Naked Joe.